Hi, let me show you a fun way to present your team using a team photo. On a click, we draw the viewer's attention to the first member. Then we move the attention to the next member, the next one, the next one, and the next one. So how did we create this kind of a hand-drawn look? And how did we overlay the original image in the specific spotlights? That is what we are going to learn in this video. But before that, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com, the creator of Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program, a comprehensive and creative PowerPoint training program for professionals. When I went to insert photo and searched for stock images in PowerPoint, I found this image. So let me insert it onto my slide. Then let us crop this to 16 is to 9 ratio. So let us go to crop aspect ratio and say 16 is to 9. And then let us ensure that this covers the entire slide area. Right click and duplicate this slide. Let us select this picture, right click and cut it. Right click, go to format background and say picture or texture fill and say picture source is clipboard. Since you had already cut this picture, it is recalled from the clipboard and now this is part of the background. Now let us go back to the first slide where we have the original image. Then select this, go to picture format, go to color and choose this option here called recolor black and white 25%. Select that. Then go to corrections and here in sharpen and soften option, you go all the way to the right to sharpen it to 50%. Now that is the hand drawn look and feel that we are going for. Then let us right click on this, cut it and then paste it right on top of this image. Now we have this hand drawn image in the front and in the background we have the original colored image. Now let us draw a circular shape and then hold the shift button down and draw a circle around the first person we want to put the spotlight on. Then go to shape outline, no outline and then right click, go to format shape, go to fill and say slide background fill. Now, since we have the original image in the background, you can see that that circle is now filled with the original image. Now, we just need to add the name of this person. So let us go to the text box tool and then write the name, maybe David. And then I'm going to use a thicker font like Tucson Empty Condensed Extra Bold and use a font which has sufficient contrast and then really increase the size to say around 96. If you want to have a little more contrast, you can go to shape format, go to text outline and say black outline so it is very clearly visible. Now, right click, duplicate slide. And in this, we are just going to move this circle all the way to this. And now you can see that the circle is now filled with this person's image. Now we are going to move this name to this caption here and we are going to call her maybe Lisa or whatever is the name of the team member. And if you want, you can even use a contrasting font color like say the red color. Let me go to text outline and say no outline. Now we have got our second member beautifully shown. Right click duplicate slide and let us go to this person here and let us say this person's name is Kara. So go here and there the name is written. So you just need to repeat the process for the different members that you want to introduce. Then all you need to do is to go to the different slides, leaving the first slide out. You can go to transitions and use a simple fade transition. And that is all you require. When I go to first slide, go to slideshow. This is the name of the first person. And then I draw the viewer's attention to the next one and the next one like this. It's a very interesting effect. Definitely it'll draw the viewer's attention and it is a fun way to introduce your team members. If you like this creative idea, then there are a whole bunch of them available in our Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery program, which is a comprehensive and creative PowerPoint training. If you are a beginner in PowerPoint and you want to have a strong foundation in the program, then please join our complete PowerPoint foundation course. Of course, when you get our Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery program, this program is bundled in. If you liked this tutorial, then you will really love this other tutorial which uses a very similar technique but in a different way. The technique is dynamic zoom animation effect in PowerPoint. I will leave a link to this video right here on your screen. You can click on the link, go watch that video next to learn a slightly different technique and make your presentation slides impressive. So click on the link right now, watch that video and I'll see you inside that video.